Get one little piece. And we got our little limes. I think this is just more sorted fish. Oh, that's all Japanese fried rice. I'm, I'm down on the bottom. It's looking kind of good. More fish. I don't, know. I don't want to be rude. Chicken teriyaki. Oh, this chicken teriyaki looks pretty good. Good Friday. We're in Vegan City, Northern Luzon. It's Hotel Luna. We're doing a buffet. It's going to be big. It's looking good. Come on, let's go. All right, we got assorted tempura. That looks good. Salmon, that looks like raw salmon. I'll try one little piece. And we got our little limes. I think this is just more sorted fish. Can't get enough of that fish on Good Friday. Japanese fried rice. I'm all about the fried rice. Let's try some of this tuna. Get some oils down on the bottom. It's looking kind of good. More fish. Chicken teriyaki. Ooh, this chicken teriyaki looks pretty good. Bootla. Ah, oh, it looks like a pork. Oh, yes. And beef. Oh, this beef actually looks really, really good. Get that stuff in the bottom that's all marinated. We'll be back, salad bar. I don't need a lot of salad. I usually eat things that eat salad. I don't need a lot of salad. I usually eat things that eat salad. I'm going to go back out there, see what kind of sauce I can find for that fish, something to dip it in. That always, actually, you guys encouraged me to do this, gave me the idea. Iced tea. They just don't serve it. It's always this nest tea, powdered. You mix it up, and it just tastes off. We're going for the real deal. I'll show you how to make it. You can even make it right here in the, on the dining table. Yeah. Ooh, thank you very much. We're going to have to let this sit. We put in three tea bags. It's going to be extra strong. So the first step is we brew the tea. I'm just dipping the bags to, to make it stronger, quicker. And then once we pull our tea bags out, then we're gonna add sugar, because we wanna solidify the sugar. And once that tea is cold, that's the refreshing part of iced tea. I actually like, uh, this makes me happy to share this guys with you. I hope you try making real iced tea. This is coming from a native Texan. We iced tea, sweet tea or unsweet tea, it's an everyday thing in Texas. Okay, while that tea is hot, we're gonna melt sugar in there and just Thank you very much. There we go. Iced tea. It's refreshing. We put that to the side, start on our food. So we've got the calamon set. Pour all of that on our fish. Some trick uh, one of the Filipinos showed me is uh, we use our fork. Keep all the seeds inside so you don't end up eating seeds. That's that Philippine ingenuity. Appreciate the feedback from everybody. Two sauces. I'm not sure what sauces they are. It says they're for the fish. Let's do this fish. Okay, we got several different types here. Let's go with this small one. Tempura. Yeah. It's like a soy sauce. Very salty. Try that one. Oh, that's odd. It's uh, I don't know what that is. Like a seafood sauce. It's very distinct. I I don't know what it is. My wife doesn't know what it is. It, it's it's different. I'm not saying yet that I like it. Okay, yeah, let's try more of this. This is in that soy sauce. Nice white fish. All right. So that's the fish. Now we get the pork. Okay, so that's that's um, I don't know. That's weird. So we're trying the pork. Yes. Yeah, the fried rice is not very good. I don't know if it's the pork or the fried rice. We'll try the fried rice. Let me flush the flavor. So. No, I don't like that fried rice. That's more of that pork. Pork's kind of dry. I don't know. I don't want to be rude. Well, that, that was very good. I think that was part of the chicken. The teriyaki chicken. That's very, very good. There was two sauces for the tempura. One's like a soy. What is it made of? Like sauce? Is that a fish sauce? Oh, it's oh, ginger. Ginger. Yeah. It can be used on the fish or the sushi. Yeah, that's uh, very good. Teriyaki chicken. I like it. So soft, easy to chew. And probably what I'll do is I'll do a bit of white rice. I normally like fried rice, but their fried rice is not very good. So I'm not sure what the difference is between normal Chinese fried rice and Japanese fried rice, but honestly, it doesn't taste very good. Fish with ginger sauce. That was that uniqueness to it. That, like I just couldn't put my finger on it, but absolutely now. But it's actually ginger mixed with something else. So it's it's not too strong of a ginger. It's good. I don't know. I didn't really get much for it. Like, it certainly just melted and dissolved in my mouth, but um, I tried it. So um, this beef, I forgot the name of it. It actually tastes like beef topsalog. Kind of a chewy kind of taste to it, like the beef topsalog. And the flavor kind of tastes like beef jerky. All right, last bite. Round one. Ding, 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 ding. It's all done. Ding, 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 ding.
go get another place. So we did uh, the bed of white rice. Uh, we did the beef and then the teriyaki chicken. Uh, all of that's on a bed of rice here. Mm. I don't normally eat salad. Got me a salad though. I was just looking for more food to eat on the buffet. I think I'm kind of done with eating what they got up there. We'll see how. I had a beef uh, tapa or equivalent, the Japanese name, whatever this is. Still kind of strong. I don't even know what the flavor is. Pile some more rice on there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you know, it's, it's strong. I don't know, I, I'll be honest. I, I just, I don't really care for the beef anymore. It's hard to eat. I've had beef tapa Filipino style, but it's just like some kind of Japanese style. I'll eat it, it's on my plate. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. Beef tapon, that's what my wife corrected me. So on my first plate, I was eating the, the pork. And I didn't like the pork, but then I got into another portion and I was like, all of a sudden I, I said, I like it. I think what it was, was tuna. I just forgot that I put the tuna and the pork side by side. Tuna tupon. The tuna is good. Probably even be a little more subtle with that rice like you guys keep telling me. Fourth. Holy cow, my son is on his fourth. I'm only on second. Okay. Oh. She don't like my accent, she teases me a lot. So this was $13 a plate, 650 pesos. I mean, the price is good. That's a really good, reasonable price for a buffet. I think it was just the Japanese theme I, I didn't really care for. My son loved it. He banged out four plates, 10 years old. Good boy. So so then my friends, gonna be some uh, videos up here, something Google and YouTube might think you like. The playlist down below. Most importantly, big round button. Smash that round button. That's a subscribe button. Till then my friends, we love you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being part of the channel. We'll see you soon.